Once What's there was a little brown a thrush, thrush who lived in a tree near a cotton bush. She used to take bits of fluff from the cotton to line her nest, and after a while she had a lot left over. So, so she took the leftover fluff to the man who sells cotton, and she told him, If you clean the seeds out of this fluff and fold, roll them in the cotton balls for me, I'll let you take half of them. Cotton ball maker agreed. He was an honest man. He didn't cheat the bird. Oh, he probably could have. And they both got cotton four balls each. Then the thrush went to the spinster. Said, if you spin this cotton into yarn for me, you can keep half of it. Spinster was an honest woman. She didn't cheat. So they both got cotton yarn, two spools each. And the thrush went to the weaver and said, if you weave this yarn into cloth for me, you can keep half of it. Weaver was an honest man. He didn't cheat. So they both got cotton cloth, one square each. Now, now the thrush went to the, the seamstress, seamstress and said, If you make clothing for me out of half of this cloth, you can keep the other half for yourself. The seamstress agreed. She took the bird's little measurements. <laughs> she cut out the little pieces and she sewed them into an elegant, elegant little cotton dress, dress with matching blouse and jacket. All in the latest style. Now, the weaver had kept half of the cloth. That was the bargain. The seamstress had kept half of the cloth. But from the thrush's half, there was a little scrap left over. As she, and because she was an honest woman. Because she liked the little bird so much. She turned that little scrap into a, a hat. hat. And dressed in her new clothes, the bird flew away. Flew and flew. She came to a still pond where she looked Look. at herself in the water. Hmm. Something's missing. Ah. And she plucked out one of her best feathers and Look. stuck it in the hat. Perfect. She said, and off, off she, she flew, flew to the royal court to show herself to the, the king. king. In the great hall where the king sat, there was a peg set high up on the wall. The thrush flew in the window, lit on the peg, and sang and hopped and turned herself around. Come on down here, little birdie, said the king. Show everybody your pretty clothes. The thrush was flattered and pleased. She flew down, down to the table and took off the little hat so the king could see how well it was made. Then she flew back, back up, up to the peg again and waited to see what would happen next. The king picked up the little hat and looked at it closely. <laughs> then he looked up at the bird. And he put the hat in his pocket. Give me my hat. Then everybody then laughed. Then everybody laughed, and the king said, Come down here and get it. So the thrush flew back down, down to the table again and hopped a little closer, but the king caught, caught her and held her fast. Let me go. Let me go. He wouldn't let her go. He was king. But he was not, not an honest, honest man. Greedy king, said the thrush. Taking my hat. I want more than your hat, said the king. I want you. I'm going to chop you up and eat you. And he started right in. But as he was chopping, the bird began to sing. He cuts and clips and cuts and clips, tra la 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 la. The king is like my seamstress, but he's nowhere near as honest. And then the king, when they had all the pieces that the bird chopped up, he started to wash the pieces, but every piece went on singing. He rubs and scrubs and rinses too. Tra la 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 la. The king is like a laundry man, but, but nowhere no near is honest. And the king put all the washed pieces into a pan. A little garlic, a little olive oil started cooking them up. But as the pieces tossed and turned in the pan, they all went on singing. He salts and stirs and fries and stuff. He salts and stirs and fries and stuff. The king is something like a cook. La 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 la. The king is something like a cook. Nowhere near is honest. Nowhere near is honest. And when the pieces were done, the king ate them up. But. From inside, inside the king's belly. My belly, still. Here I am inside the king. La, 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 la. And so he's just like any hand that nowhere near is honest. The king became like some kind of walking music, music box. box. He didn't like it. No, 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 no. Not one bit. But it was his own fault. Wherever he Whatever went. Whatever he did. People could hear the thrush singing out from inside his belly. Tra la 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 la. The king is just like any man, but nowhere near as honest. Everybody who heard this began to despise the king. <laughs> they began to point at him and sing along mockingly. Tra la 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 la. -la the the king, king is just like any man, man but, but nowhere near as honest. Pretty soon everybody was singing along with the bird.
Tra la 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 la. The king is just like any man, but nowhere near as honest. Then when I say everybody was singing along with the bird, I mean everybody was singing along with the bird. Tra la 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 la. The king is just like any man, but nowhere near as honest. And then they sang it louder. Tra la 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 la. The king is just like any man, but nowhere near as honest. And then they sang it louder. Tra la 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 la. The king is just like any man, but nowhere near as honest. Then this very strange thing began to happen. The king would come in from that door over there and come into this half of the room over here. Everybody on this side of the room would hear the bird start singing with the bird. And then the king would come in the rest of the way over here. And everybody on this side of the room would see the king, hear the bird start singing along with the bird a little bit later because it was a little bit later. So it became almost sort of a little bit like, like around. around. <laughs> How's it with Ming? Right here. Tra la 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 the king is just like any man but no one near as honest. Tra la 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 the king is just like any man but no one near as honest. Finally, the king couldn't stand it any longer. He called for his royal doctor. Cut this bird out of my stomach. We could do that," said the royal doctors. We, we, could, we could do that, do that but that. then Your Your Majesty, Majesty would her, um, <clears throat> die. I don't care. Everybody's singing at me and laughing at me, and I can't stop them. I order you cut it out. So the doctors cut the bird out. Sure enough, the king died. But inside the king's belly, the most amazing thing had happened. All the pieces of the thrush had joined back together again, and now, out the window she flew. Oh, but her pretty clothes were all gone. Good, she said. Who needs clothes? I'm a bird. <laughs> I've got feathers. Ah, uh, but now the people had no king. Good, Good they said. Who needs kings? We're, we're the, the people. people. Uh, we can tell each other what to do. <laughs> and from that day on, everybody knew. Always keep your promises to people and beasts and birds. Now this story ends with a thought for you. Your voice, no matter how small it may be, still can sing what's true. Now this story ends with a thought for you. Your voice, no matter how small it may be, still can sing what's true. Bum 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 bum. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>